on, Jesus, the, bless, Lord. on the fundamental God, problems of mankind. God, God, you God, have God, forgiven God, us God. our sins. Yes, we Lord. are with you, O oh God. You have solved the problem of Satan. You have solved the problem of sin. You have solved the problem mm. of separation. Ah, we are with you, O oh God. Come on, bless the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of the Lord. It is a moment of thanksgiving. It's a moment of thanksgiving. Just thank God. Thank God wherever you are. Bless God forever you are. Thank God. Thank God. He has been faithful. He continues to be faithful. He's forever faithful. The Bible said, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Psalm 103. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, all that is within thee. Who has forgiven you your iniquity? Oh, bless the name of the Lord wherever you are. Exalt the name of the Lord wherever you are. Magnify the name of the Lord wherever you are. What an opportunity. What a privilege. What a privilege that the Lord has given unto us. That we be with Christ. That we be with Him. It is a great blessing. It's a great blessing. It's a great blessing. It's a great blessing. It's a great blessing. We thank you, O God. We magnify you, O God. We glorify you, O God. In all things, bless the name of the Lord. In all things, magnify the name of the Lord. Go ahead and thank God for your life. Go ahead and thank God for your nation. Go ahead and thank God for the disciples in your nation. The disciples in your city. The disciples everywhere. We thank you, O God. We bless you, O God. The name Hallelujah. of the Lord be lifted up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord be magnified. Yes, you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the Lord of my soul. It is a moment of thanksgiving. Wherever you are, show appreciation unto God. Show gratitude unto God. He has solved the problem of Satan. He has solved the problem of sin. He has solved the problem of separation. We are talking about the true king. We are talking about the true priest. We are talking about the true prophet. In him we live. In him we move. In him we have our being. He is the source of our salvation. He is the source of our strength. 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 Bless the name of the Lord. 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 Lift up the name of the Lord. Glorify the name of the Lord. Bless him, 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 Lord. We thank you for the privilege. We thank you for the opportunity that we can be with the Lord. That we can be with the Lord. What a great blessing that you are with the Lord. What a great blessing. A great blessing. A great blessing that you have been chosen to propagate his word, to testify about Christ, <laughs> to testify about Christ, to witness about Christ. What a great blessing. What a great blessing. Oh, come on, lift up your voice and thank him. Revive you and thank him. Thank him one more time. We thank you for the we bless you for the opportunity. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus. 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 Your name be lifted one more time. Your name be glorified one more time. Your name be exalted one more time. We thank you, O God. We worship God. We thank you, O God. We thank you, O God. We thank you. We are praying for all these disciples in the world. 
the Lord will continue to preserve their life. The Lord will continue to protect their life. That we have the boldness. That we have the, 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 the boldness to the wherever we are. <laughs> Go ahead and testify about Christ. Testify about Christ. We propagate about Christ. We are praying for all the disciples over the world. Disciples all over the world. Yes, this continue to go deeper. We will continue to go deeper. We will continue to have boldness. Yes, Lord. We will continue yes, to have yes, revelation. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The color of the whole 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 of Lord, be honoring you. Yes, Father God. your presence, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. We want to see you, Lord, open our heart, oh Lord. Lord, open our mind, oh God. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Open our eyes, oh Lord, tonight. We want to see you, Lord. We thank you. We want to see you. Yes, oh God. Yes, oh God. We thank you one more time. Jesus, yes, We bless you one more time. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Who is the Christ? We are Hallelujah. worship. We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Fine. Finally, I want to pray so that I can hand over to Pastor. Father, we pray once again. We declare this international meeting open. Amen. Yes, God. Yes, God. We shall be guided. <laughs> we speak that we will have revelation. We pray, oh God, as Pastor Park share special message, we have more grace to continue with you. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. 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 So, yeah, thank you, Pastor. The moment, this is just a moment of intercessions towards uh, our seminars every Saturday. Every Saturday, we, we're going deeper. And, uh, we trust God that we represent all the nations of the earth. We represent all the nations of the earth on Saturday. So from Africa, from Asia, from Europe, North America, South America, and the Lord bring us together for the world of sessions of all nations. So this Saturday is so, is so uh, prophetic that we represent and we stand in God for all the continents. We stand in the God for all the nations so that we'll be able to pray towards this meeting because we do not take it for granted that not just a meeting, it's a, it's a, it's a meeting with destiny. It's a, we have a divine encounter of, of, of the Lord. So today we're going to have a special time to really go into deeper worship, right? And uh, we have our own Vandana and Anugra 
people God has prepared to take us through this moment of worship. Oh, and please don't let us sit as singing. We shouldn't sit like, oh, they are just singing. No, this, this is communications of the gospel through worship, through songs, right? So and that is the only thing that God also is expecting from us to offer our life, spirit, soul, and body as an incense unto him. So that day and night, the incense, our incense may arise from the true heart, from the truthful heart that believes this without any restrictions, he gave all of himself unto us. And all what we can give back to God is all ourselves. Let's give all ourselves back to God in worship. We want to say, Lord, we're connecting to you, we're meeting God through this worship. Oh, so it's so welcome. special. The Bible said that the Father seek those who, who are going to worship him in spirit and in the truth. Right, so this is our own time, and this is the rules of the house that our microphones will be muted. So as we're excited in the spirit through the worship, you can scream whatever you are. Yeah, you can shout it loud if, if where you have permits you to shout or to scream. Right, you can scream if you want to it's dance. You can dance around. If you want to raise your hand, you can raise your worship time. We need to enjoy him. Man. So I really want uh, Vandana and Anugra. I mean, don't don't pay don't pay attention to time, all right? So when your time is is elapsing, I will I will let you know, all right? So so let's let's really flow. Let there be a flow in our spirit. Let the Holy Spirit you that are listening to this uh, meeting to this seminar. So it's the word of realizations. Non-believer will listen to. the gospel and they'll be able to believe this gospel we're wasting much time to maximize our time let's quickly go to Delhi India and invite our own Vandana and Anugra please you can unmute your microphone and uh, just have your way thank you praise the Lord good evening to all the international disciples from Delhi the capital of India mm -hmm. and uh, we are greatly honored to be sharing this platform with you all and I am very grateful to my Heavenly Father for granting us this opportunity and to all the authorities. And as my spiritual mother sits here, she's here, Apostle Lily D'Souza. Whenever I look at her, she gives me strength. <clears throat> so I'm grateful to God. I acknowledge her. I acknowledge uh, Pastor Thomas Edesina, Dr. Ravi, and all of you over here. And above everyone, I acknowledge Jesus, my Savior, Jesus, my Christ. And uh, his presence is here with us. And I want to welcome, let us welcome the Holy Spirit of God. Let us with loud round of applause, welcome the Holy Spirit of God in our midst. Because we give him all glory and honor, for we do not even know how to worship. For we are mere humans. And it is he alone who transports us to the presence of the Father. And he enthrones the praises of his people. So we are <coughs> very grateful and uh, we would like to start today's worship with the song which says, Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Shout to the Lord, all the disciples, let us sing. Let us bring, bring glory to his holy name. <clears throat> uh, are you able to hear me well? Am I audible? Okay. To the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains fall down and the seas will roll at the sound of your name. I sing for joy of the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your life. Never 
this is a solid ground so that we may never falter in life but we may walk humbly and faithfully with our Jesus our Christ our Messiah all through our lives so let us sing this song which says oh what a wonderful wonderful day they I will never forget because heavens came down Gonna wait for their network. So let's give them some few minutes so that we can flow on. Hallelujah. Nothing washes clean like the blood of Jesus. You know, they're going to connect back. Let's give them some few minutes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Okay, they are coming back. Amen. Glory to God. Okay, you can unmute your microphone. Yeah. yeah, please continue. Can you hear us? Vandana? All right. Yeah, you can. I was yeah please city continue. City. You're audible. All right, so we will continue. Yeah, praise God for the electricity. Hallelujah. The next song that we are going to sing, it says, Oh, what a full, wonderful day. Day I will forget. This talks about uh, how that day, you know, when Jesus uh, was, uh, when he died and he rose again, heavens came down and glory filled my soul. His resurrection is my hope in life. Uh, let us continue with our worship. We are trying to connect from our laptop, if, it, if that's possible. Yeah, that's okay. Just, just, just flow. Yeah, the, the spirit with you. Amen. Can you hear us? All right, let us start. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Flower chica. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Day I will never forget. After I wandered in darkness away, Jesus, my Savior, I met. Oh, what a tender, compassionate friend, he met the need of my heart. Oh, 
of grace and it proper, he saved me, oh praise is your name. in heaven for sure, there in those mansions of light, and it's because of this wonderful day, when at the cross I believe, riches eternal and blessings of honor from His presence and I transaction was made on the cross that day and forever forever I will remember that wonderful day because he bought me with a precious price and in his sacrifice I stand I have all my hope in his sacrifice and in his resurrection power so this is what we proclaim and this is our strength no other gifting is our strength. No other thing is our strength. Our strength is Jesus the Christ. His death, resurrection and sacrifice. So I give glory to the name of Jesus this evening. And when we talk about the love of the Father, we always remember how deep is the Father's love for us. And how can we not sing about the love of the Father? So the song that we are going to sing now says, How deep the Father's love for us. How deep the Father's love for us Our lost beyond all measure That He should give His only Son To make the wretches present How great the pain of suffering Lord The Father turns it Oh 
words that says i will not boast in anything no gifts no power no wisdom but i will boast in jesus christ his death and resurrection and this is what we profess and we are so grateful to god that those who stands on giftings and power and the wisdom of men those are shallow grounds but may we all may we all the international disciples stand on the death and the resurrection of jesus christ may this become our hope so the last song that we sing it says my redeemer lives and therefore i will live to proclaim his glory because i know that i am not worthy i know that i do not have the power i know that i do not have that wisdom i could not have come out of the trap of the evil one but i know because he lives i will live forever because he lives you all will live forever to proclaim his glory and his name my redeemer lives i know he rescued my soul oh, oh, oh. his blood has covered my sins i believe
This is what I proclaim. Give all glory to the name of my Redeemer. Hallelujah. Jesus the Christ. My, my King. He lives. Ever. His is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Yes, and I, Father, may your kingdom come. Hallelujah. Done on this place, Father God, through MWE, Father God, throughout the world, my Father. I pray we may live to proclaim your glory, Father, as your disciple, Father. As you lift our burdens, my Father, we will rise with you, for you have chosen us. We have not chosen you, for you are holding our hands. And I give all glory to the power that lies in the name of Jesus. Name. I give glory to the powerful, wonderful, matchless, beautiful, marvelous name of Jesus the Christ. And I pray that this evening, this name of Jesus may break every bondage, may break every bondage, may we become unstoppable in the name of Jesus. Every resistance that comes against the preaching of the gospel in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ Father and I give you all glory Father yes, Father. and Father yes. we pray that we may become Father we may become powerful just like your son Jesus Christ for we have regained our power and authority in the name yes, of Jesus I give you glory my Father I worship the name of Jesus I worship his holy yes hallelujah just name and I give all glory to the name Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, I surrender this worship. Amen. 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 Let's give it to the Lord. Let's give it to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, uh, Vandana and Anugra from Delhi, India. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking us deeper. And uh, we, without wasting much time, let's quickly go to Mexico. We want to call on our own pastor, uh, Bauta Bavila, to give us an opening prayer. Yeah, please, uh, you can unmute your microphone. Yeah, you can unmute your microphone now. Thank you so much, uh, you. Pastor Bauta Bavila from Mexico. Thank you. Yeah, glory to God. Thank you. It's always good to see you, everyone, guys here, brethren uh, in Jesus, who is the Christ. So it's always, um, we're always joyful to say hello to you. And yeah, let's let's pray so that the Lord guide us today um, in this international discipleship seminar. Um, yeah, let us pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ this day, um, recognizing you as our God, the only God, uh, the only living God in our lives, the eternal God, and recognizing you that you are the Christ and always praying to ask for direction, to ask for uh, this faith that you gave us, this faith that you had, since before the foundation of the world and we thank you lord um you are you are our god and we always are joyful to be here uh with all the brethren and all the things that you are allowing this um last days father because we know that this uh in this time you are so close uh to come here to the earth again and we're very joyful to, for this and we pray in this in this day, Father, for this uh, for all the disciples around the world. So let us uh, continue uh, in this faith always, Father, with this faith that uh, overcame the world, this faith that you gave us. Thanks for uh, all the things that uh, through the Christ, all the spiritual blessings that we have. And we know, Father, that you finish everything in the cross and in the resurrection, Father. Thank you because you are the Christ and you resolve the problem of sin, Father. Thank you because uh, we didn't deserve, Father. We don't deserve the salvation and you came here for your love. So thank you for this understanding that you gave us about your word, about always uh, always, Father, that you tell us 
all the in the in all the scriptures that everything is about you everything was created about you and you father since the beginning you are the beginning father and as we see in the scriptures that you in the beginning you created all all everything father and you are the beginning and the end the alpha the omega and we're very joyful to be here with all the disciples thank you for their lives thank you for world evangelization thank you for evangelism thanks for the gospel that is about you it is not about us you are the one you are the only one uh, and let us uh, serve you father these servants useful servants today proclaiming the gospel of the bible around the world because we deserve really our long is to see you uh, um, coming to the class with your your glory and with your angels father and we know that this this day uh, is very close father because this gospel is uh, has been shared around the world and uh, allow us to keep in this faith no matter uh, tribulation persecutions no matter all the things that are happening in the world right now we know that everything is finished you say that in the cross and we believe in your word it is finished father thank you so much father thank you father always uh, we we ask you for uh, this direction opening doors father please to go for to the other worthy ones that are there waiting for your war father they are there waiting for you that they will hear your voice the voice of the good shepherd that you are the only one you are the only one that is good and thanks for this revelation in your gospel uh, everything father now uh, for this um, <clears throat> good news that gave us life father always thank you father and we pray for all the, the ministries around the world. We thank you, Father, in this day as well for the Korean church, Father, um, that they are uh, traveling all the, around the world, Father, uh, sharing this. Uh, let them uh, grace to, uh, to have grace every day in their lives, Father. And for all the disciples for, from Africa, for Asia, for Europe, Father, that they are giving their lives for uh, Latin America and North America, Central America, uh, Oceania, Father, in every place that we know that you have people around the world, uh, in all the nations and for all the regions that um, is testifying the gospel right now, Father. And we know that you are with us in this life with Emmanuel because this is your work. It's not a work, it's your work, this world evangelization, because you really long to come here for your children. And we're waiting for you because you are our father. We yes, recognize you, your father, because you are father. So near in this, uh, in these days, father. Thank you so much. We pray uh, around the world that um, help us always to continue in just one spirit um, because you're coming for just one church not a divided church just one church a perfect church and we we pray and we ask uh, forgiveness father if we have been doing something wrong if we have been doing something that is not uh, correct father we ask you uh, forgiveness father always because um, thank you because we're not uh, perfect you are the only one and we are here as you for always for repentance father thank you for this opportunity to repent in this day father thank you and we are here as your servants father uh, thank you for your spirit that guide us every day and we know that you already told us what do we need to do father to go and make disciples, to go and preach the gospel to every creature around the world. And we know that this is fulfilling in these days, Father. Uh, uh, let us to grab the covenant of your return. 
Father, thank you. And we pray for all the, the pastors around the world in all the congregations that you are rising in these days, Father. Uh, give them faith always, no matter uh, situations, no matter we uh, know that we just need this faith, Father, that you are the Christ, that you solve the problem of sin, of Satan. And now we are with you, Father, as you told us in, in, in your word, that in the last days, you're going to spread your spirit and we will give you testimony. Thank you, Father. And allow us to give this testimony until the end, to move forward always, Father, not to look behind, just to move forward. And thank you, Father. And we put this time recognizing you, always worship you. Thanks for your, for your grace. You deserve everything, Father. The worship or pray, everything is for you. Uh, this yes, uh, international discipleship seminar is for you. And we put everything in your hands, in this time in your hands, always praying in the beautiful name, the powerful name of Jesus, our Savior, who is the Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you. From Glory, to, Glory to God. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much. And uh, thank God for everyone today from Africa, from Asia, from Europe, from North America, South America. We want to thank God for, your, for our life. And today we're going to listen to the testimony. of uh, one of our pastors to see what God is using this uh, platform for. And also we have our own pastor on Seek Park. Today also is going to share an important message with us. And after that, we're going to go to intercession time. But before we call on a uh, pastor surrender Park, I want us to look at this passage of the scriptures as a foundation for our meeting today. And this is going to encourage every viewers on Facebook and every disciple that irrespective of whatever you might be going through, I wanted to see the confession of one of the old time prophet, you see, in the gospel, who was able to see the, 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 the revelations of God in his life. And let's, let's hear his confession, his confession of faith. So and I believe it's going to also inspire us also in the book of Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter three. If you have a Bible, we can read together. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17 and 18, just two verses. Habakkuk. Habakkuk is an Old Testament, Testament prophet whom God used speedily to see the glory of God in his time. So when he had a counter with the glory of God, this is what he said, he confessed in Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17 and 18. I'm reading the King James versions of the Bible. He said, although the victory tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields shall yield no meat. Even the flock shall be cut off from the food, and there shall be no herd in the stores. The old situations of daily challenges might look so negative. You see, in spite of you believing that Jesus is the Christ, everything looks so impossible. Everything looks so difficult. It seems as if you are going through challenging time that negates your faith. But let's see how he, he, he confesses his own faith in God. It says, verse 18 says, yet, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my son. Now, if he is with God, then it's no more problem. So everything described in verse 17 may look so real, but it's not real as compared to him being with God. So he said, I will rejoice. Hallelujah. I will rejoice my faith in believing that Jesus is the Christ. I will rejoice. Why? Because he has restored me back to God. So being with God is a blessing. A blessing that transcends every material blessings. It transcends physical blessings. It transcends all the financial blessings. So Abaku was able to see that when he have a counter that being with God of his salvation is all what matters. And Jesus proclaimed it, it is finished. So he finished our fundamental problems and every other problems are no more problem because now I am with God. So we could see how Abaku in his time was able to enjoy Emmanuel. 
See, he understood the, the, the revelation of God was so strong in his life that despite everything that he sees, Hambaku was able to confess his faith. And in this part of whatever we might be going through, whatever country you find yourself, let's confess our faith. Let's confess out there that I will rejoice in the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. And I will joy in the God of my salvation. Hallelujah. So, so within uh, five to six minutes, we're going to invite our pastor, Pastor Sorinda Paul uh, from India to give us what God has really done in his life with the gospel. Pastor, let's welcome Pastor Sorinda Paul. Please, you can unmute your microphone. Yes. I thank God for this wonderful time. Uh, also, thank uh, Dr. Ravi and Dr. Thomas for giving me privilege to speak to all disciples seminar. I'm also thankful to God for this wonderful time that God given me in my life. So it's my privilege to speak to you all over the world. Uh, it is a uh, it is a inspiration of God's word, which is build us, which is mold us, which is take us to to uh, to understand that Jesus is the Christ. Here I would like to speak about how I have received the God's word and how I received the gospel, the true gospel. I've been teaching in many theological colleges. I've been trained many pastors in North India, in the part all over the, uh, India, in every culture and every uh, area I've been working. After that, uh, last year, I uh, am able to attend the ASEAN leadership uh, program. Uh, that, that, that is the time that Dr. Ravi and Dr. Thomas has visited us. It was a great blessing to us as well as a great blessing to me. And we had a wonderful program uh, with a breakfast meet with our pastors who is in our area. So that, uh, that uh, especially uh, we have been teaching, but we could unable to understand who is the Christ. So when we, when we attended this program, it is a great, I could able to understand Jesus is the Christ who came to this world. So here, after that, it was some gap is taken place. One day, Dr. Ravi has called me and he's, he's asking about what is gospel? Then I, I thought that I'm a lecturer, I've been teaching as a theologian, I, I know everything. Why is he's asking me a question that uh, what is the gospel? Then when he make me to understand that I could able to understand that Jesus is the Christ, then we have started a beautiful program like with the Dr. Ravi and it was a blessing to 80 pastors. And it was a, it was a time that we could be able to uh, reach every area, every person in our area. After that, uh, I, I have been, uh, thank God for this uh, uh, lockdown time. Uh, I, uh, I could able to learn uh, two lectures in the same times, uh, 27 lectures we have been listening. So it was in, in, uh, inspired me to do more work for the gospel. So again, I started, uh, I, my wife also, she was listening this gospel and she has, she has been inspired by the the spirit of God, and she started uh, for the women's wing. So it is a great blessing to us. And also, I've been every day. I've been teaching in the our church, and we have completed twelve lectures in our church in Telugu church. Again, we have started uh, for the English lecture, English worship, which is starting every Sunday at four to six evening. So I've been teaching about this gospel and this was a great blessing to me. And we have been moving here and there and teaching me every area. So it is inspiring us to do more work for the Lord. And also uh, we, I, I, I speak in the leadership programs, which is more than 120 pastors. So it was encouraging me day by day that who is the Christ. One day I was speaking about that, uh, how the prophecy has fulfilled in Christ Jesus. It was a, a great thing that I could be able to understand who is, the, what is the perception of Jesus. And I am I, I able to uh, teach the, the pastors and leaders, they were, they were inspired. And also uh, we have completed in two meetings and two lectures 
and also we have started 27 lectures and also uh, for women and we have started uh, seven lectures has been completed yesterday we had uh, uh, we have traveled more than 250 kilometers uh, we had a wonderful uh, youth program along with 100 100 youth uh, so it is my desire to be part of this great uh, world evangelization to do to, to fulfill the work of Christ who has given to us. So it is, and, and I, because of this, Ashia, my son, Joy, was listening to this word, uh, word of God, in every week, and it was inspired to him to write a beautiful song about the, who is Jesus, who is the Christ, how he came to this world. So it is uh, encouraging me day by day, and I would like to say that my life, after 20, 20 years of uh, experience teaching in the Bible school, teaching in the colleges, uh, teaching in the uh, congregations, I could uh, receive the inspiration of God so, through that school. It is a great blessing to me. I thank God for this uh, time. I thank God, Dr. Ravi and Dr. Thomas, uh, Missioner Nina, who has been in, uh, inspiring us to uh, do more work for the Lord. Uh, here I would like to take a one uh, little word and to say about, so Dr. Thomas, Dr. Ni, uh, Missioner Nina, Dr. Ravi, as uh, so though they were past participating in, in the program, even though they are not speaking, they are patiently, they are listening. They know every, every day they have been listening, though they are uh, uh, giving you a patient to work for the Lord. I learned from you, three of you, uh, to how to, as a patient, to listen from somebody who is speaking. Thank God for this wonderful time. May the Lord bless you. Have a blessed day. Here Man, I am Amen. Thank you. Surinder Paul, Hyderabad, India. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor yeah, Surinder Paul. Yeah, thank you. And uh, let, me, let me just summarize in a few words for some of us who might be having challenges to understand uh, what Pastor Surrender have uh, spoken because of our various uh, cultural backgrounds and our various uh, language uh, uh, differences. So all what Pastor Surrender was able to say is that for the past 20 something years that he has been a lecturer in Bible college, he has been a pastor, he has been teaching the Bible, but the revelations of this gospel was not so vivid in his life that when we visited India last year for, for Asia conference, so I and Pastor Ravi were able to visit this place and he organized some pastors whereby we share the gospel with them. And also this year, as we started the online meeting, as we participating, I was able to see that the, revel the gospel can only be received as a revelation. So it, that is when you begin to have the understanding of what the gospel of the Bible is. So when he said, Pastor Ravi asked him that, what is the gospel? Yeah, it looks so ridiculous that what is the gospel? <laughs> but when he defined, he could understand that he doesn't really know what the gospel is. And many of us also, we might be in the situations of Apostle Surrender Paul, who we think we know the Bible, but we don't know what the gospel is. We don't know the content and the message of that Bible. So these revelations of the gospel has really transformed his life. And personally, I'll be following his, his, his ministry. I'll be seeing how his teaching will be changed. His whole message, everything have changed. And also the whole family, we are also caught up and believe that truly Jesus is the Christ. And not just as a sentence, not just as a motto, not just as a phrase, but with a clear understanding of the revelations of who Jesus is. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Apostle Surrender Paul. We really appreciate God for your life and all the teams and members of your ministry. Thank, thank God. Thank, Let, thank let's you so let's much. give it to the Lord for your life. Thank you so much. Amen, thank you. Amen, amen. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah, we appreciate you. And uh, we, <laughs> today, please, I want us to open our hearts because uh, God is going to use our own Pastor Park for our life to really speak to us. This is a, a best, best friend, the bosom friend of Pastor Cho, whom they, they be doing this word evangelization, traveling from one country to another. So this is someone who really have me of humble himself to really learn every day, to really stake his life for the word of evangelizations of all nations. And before I call on him, we have a, one of our uh, pastors who is joining us for the first time today. Uh, please, I just want to acknowledge you, Pastor Jerry. Pastor Jerry, 
from Ghana. Thank you so much. I've seen you that you are part of the meeting. After the meeting, we're still going to uh, appreciate you, more, but we appreciate you. Thank you so much uh, for creating time. So without wasting much time, let's really go to South Korea. And uh, as we invite our own Moksani, Pastor On Suik Park, please, you can unmute your microphone, Moksani. Yeah, Moksani. 마이크를 켜주시면 됩니다. 네, 들리나? 마이크... 네, 잘 들립니다. 오케이, 시작하면 되나? 네, 시작하시면 됩니다. 오케이. 반갑습니다. Good to see you all. 어, 오랜만에 뵙습니다. It's been a while. 어, 이번에 메시지를 해달라고 부탁을 받았습니다. So when I was asked to share the message with you, 여러분의 모임이 어떻게 얼마만큼 진행되는지 깊이 잘 모르고 있습니다. And um, I was actually not really well aware of how this meeting was formed and how it was continued. 그래서 메시지를 할때 그냥 제 기준에서 메시지를 하겠습니다. So I will share the message um, from my heart. 지난번에 복음에 관한 이야기를 함께 나누었습니다. So last time I was able to share what the what the gospel is. 오늘은 다음으로 믿음, 믿음에 대한 이야기를 좀 함께 해볼까 합니다. So today I'd like to share about faith. 어, 전 세계 다니면서 가장 좀 오해된 것 중에 하나가 믿음인 것 같습니다. As I travel to different parts of the world, I realize that one of the most misunderstood concepts is the faith. 생각보다 교회 안에 정상적이지 않은 신앙들, 믿음들이 많이 들어와 있습니다. So more than you can imagine. Um, of normal faith or incorrect faiths have entered the church. 오늘 믿음에 관한 이야기는 여러분들이 잘 아는 이야기입니다. So you know the word faith so much. 그럼에도 불구하고 함께 나누면서 정리되어지고 또더 깊이 계시된 은혜가 있었으면 좋겠습니다. But in spite of that, as we um, look at this word, um, look at this um, idea, we hope that we'll be able to truly understand and have the true faith. 오늘 본문은 야고보서 2장 14절로서 26절입니다. Uh, we're going to look at James chapter 2, 14 for today's um, passage. 한번 읽어주면 좋겠네. 야고보서 2장 14절에서 몇 절까지 읽으면 될까요? 26절까지. Um, James chapter 2, 14 through 26. I'm going to read. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily, fruit, um, daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical need, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, it's dead. But someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. You believe that there is one God, good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. You foolish person, do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? Was not our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see that his faith and his actions were working together and his faith was made complete by what he did. And the scripture was fulfilled that says Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness and it was called God's friend. You see that a person is considered righteous by what they do and not by faith alone. Amen. Amen. So today's passage is about the faith and the action. 특별히 이 행함이 없는 믿음에 대한 이야기를 지금 야고보가 꾸짖고 있습니다. And James, he is actually pointing at the faith without deeds. 그 14절에 보면 행함이 없는 믿음은 구원과 상관없다고 이야기를 하고요. And he, he, in verse 14, he says, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds, then um, he has nothing to do with salvation. 17절에 보니까 행함이 없는 믿음은 그 자체가 죽은 것이다 라고 표현을 합니다. And verse 17, it says, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, it's dead. 20절에도 영혼 없는 몸이 죽은 것 같이 행함이 없는 믿음은 죽은 것이다 라고 이야기를 하고 있고요. And also verse 20, um, the faith without this is useless. 20절에도 보니까 행함이 없는 믿음이 헛된 것인 줄 알고자 하느냐라고 이렇게 이야기를 합니다. So he's really emphasizing that the faith without action is useless. 그러니까 행함이 없는 믿음은 구원과 상관없고 어, 죽은 것이고 헛된 것이라는 거죠. 
So the faith without this has nothing to do with salvation and it's dead and it's useless. 교회 안에 믿음이 아닌데 믿음으로 존재하는 믿음들이 많이 있습니다. So in the church we see um we find faith and that are not real faith. 성경을 기준으로 볼때 분명히 믿음이 아니에요. 그러나 믿음으로 존재한다니까요. So um, if we have the standard of the Bible and these are not real faith, but still we view it as faith. 그 중에 하나가 좀 야고보가 15절, 17절의 내용을 보면 말로만 믿는 믿음이 진짜 믿음이냐 이렇게 이야기하고 있는 거예요. And among the these um, false faith, um, James is pointing out, if you just say with your word that you believe and you do not take action, then does it mean that you really believe? 말로는 믿는다고 이야기를 합니다. So people say, oh, I believe with their mouth. 나는 예수, 예수 그리스도를 영접했으라고 이야기한다는 거죠. And they say, I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord. 그 삶에는 전혀 믿는 자의 삶이 나타나지 않는 거죠. But when we look at his life, it does not show that he is a true believer. So verse 18, it says, 행함이 있으니까, 행함이 보이라, So show me your faith without this, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. 말하면, 믿음, 진짜 그게 믿음이라면 증명해 보라는 거예요. And in the easily easy way, is he is saying that if you truly have the faith, you need to prove it. 행함이 없는 네 믿음을 증명해 보라는 거예요. To prove your faith that is without deed. 나는 행함으로 내 믿음을 증명해 보겠다는 거죠. And I'm going to prove my faith by my deeds. 그러면서 십구절 이야기합니다. And verse 19 he says, 네가 하나님은 한 분이시라 한한 한 분이신 줄을 믿느냐 잘하는 도다 귀신도도 믿고 떠느니라. You believe that there is one God, good, even the demons believe that and shudder. 하나, 하나님은 한 분이시다라고 믿는다는 거죠. So some people believe that there is one God. 근데 그 정도 믿음은 귀신도 믿는다 이렇게 표현합니다. Well, that kind of faith, it actually demons have that kind of faith too. 귀신도 믿는 믿음을 우리가 가지고 있다면 구원받을 수 있냐 이 말이에요. So if we, our faith is that of same as the that of the demons, then can we truly receive salvation? 분명히 귀신의 믿음과 내 믿음이 달라야 돼요. Our faith should be different or better than the faith of the demons. 귀신이 뭘 믿습니까? And what does the demons believe? 하나님이 한 분이시라는 걸 믿습니다. They believe that there is one God. 그 하나님이 그리스로 보내시겠다는 약속도 알고 있고요. And they are also aware of the promise that God is going to send the Messiah, the Christ. 그, 그 그리스도가 예수로 오셨다는 것도 압니다. And they also know that Jesus came and he is the Christ. 그리스도의 지신 예수님이 십자가 지시고 부활했다는 것도 알고 있고요. And they know that Jesus, he was crucified and he resurrected. 그가 다시 오실 것도 알고 있습니다. And they even know that he is going to come again. 그러나 귀신이 믿고 있는 것은 그냥 사실에 불과한 거예요. But what they believe is just fact. They just know the facts. 존재를 믿는 믿음, 존재를 믿는 것은 성경에서 말하는 믿음이 분명히 아닙니다. If we just believe in the existence or more facts, it's not the faith that the Bible talks about. 한국의 수많은 불신자들은 하나님이 있다라고 믿는 사람들이 있어요. So among those people who do, uh, among the non-believers in Korea, many people believe in the fact that God exists. 하나님의 존재를 인정하는 거죠. So they acknowledge the existence of God. 그걸 믿는다고 구원받는 게 아닌 거죠. But can they receive salvation by believing that? No. 우리는 예수님께서 십자가 부활을 통해서 어떤 일을 이루셨는지를 믿는 겁니다. We believe in what Jesus has done on the cross and through resurrection. 정말로 인간의 문제는 인간이 해결할 수 없다는 것을 깊이 인정하고 We deeply acknowledge the fact that human being, mankind, we cannot solve our own problems. 그 인간의 문제의 핵심이 사단과 죄와 하나님과 단절된 사실을 깊이 인정하고 And to truly acknowledge that the very essence of the problem of mankind is sin, Satan, and separation from God. 이세 가지 문제를 해결하실 분이 그리스도라는 사실을 믿는 거죠. And to truly believe that Jesus, the, the Christ, is the only one who can solve these three fundamental problems. 그 그리스도 오셔서 십자가 부활로 사단과 죄와 하나님과 단절된 모든 문제를 끝내셨다는 사실을 믿는 겁니다. 
to believe in the truth that Christ came and he truly finished the problem of sin, Satan and separation from God. 내가 예수를 믿는다는 이야기는 십자가 부활을 통해서 모든 문제 끝내신 그리스도란 사실을 믿는 거죠. So when I say I believe in Jesus, that means we believe in Christ who finished everything, who finished the problem of sin, Satan, and separation from God on the cross and through resurrection. 단, 단번, 단순히 그가 어, 존재라든지 어떤 팩트란 그걸 믿는 것을 성경에서 믿음이라고 말하지 않습니다. The Bible does not say that if you believe in some simple historical facts or some ideas or existence, it's not the biblical faith. 또요. 믿음이라고 착각하는 경우들도 저는 교회에서 많이 봤습니다. And also in the church I've seen many people who have um, who misunderstand that they have the real faith. 가장 쉽게 볼수 있는 게 알고 있는 사실을 어, 믿는다고 착각을 하는 거예요. So one of the examples um, that we easily see is that many people think they believe when they just know some facts. 그래? 어릴 때부터 교회를 쭉 다녔기 때문에 하나님에 대해서 성경에 대해서 예수님에 대해서 이렇게 잘 알고 있습니다. So because they've attended church for a long time, so regarding God, regarding Jesus, regarding the Bible, they have many ideas and they know it very well. 그렇게 알고 있는 걸 나는 믿고 있다라고 착각하는 거죠. When people just have the knowledge about the Bible, they, but they think, oh, I have faith. 이게 아는 것과 믿는 것은 분명히 다릅니다. But knowing and believing, there are two different things. 또는 특별한 어떤 체험들이 있는 사람들이 가끔 있습니다. Or there are other groups of people who have a very special um, experiences. 어떤 영적인 체험을 했거나 어떤 특별한 게 예수님의 음성을 들었거나 하고 특별한 체험을 한 것을 믿음이라고 착각하는 거예요. So some of them maybe they have some spiritual experiences, or some have heard some the voice, and they think that they have a faith. That's why they had this kind of experiences. 예수님을 통해서 치유받은 많은 병자들이 있었습니다. But in the time of Jesus, there were so many people who received healing through Jesus. 네, 특별한 예, 예수님을 통해서 특별한 체험을 했다는 거죠. Meaning that they had a very special experience by Jesus. 그들은 구원을 받았냐는 거예요. But did they receive salvation? 예수 이름으로 질병이 치유됐어요. 그럼 구원 받습니까? So they received healing in the name of Jesus. Does it assure their salvation? 그 요한복음 5장에 나오는 38년 된 병자가 치유받았는데 그게 구원하고 관계 있냐 말이에요. So when we look at John chapter 5, uh, we see this patient who'd been sick for 38 years, but when he received healing, does the, did that um, bring him salvation as well? 어, 교회 와서 예수 이름으로 예수 이름을 부르다가 어떤 특별한 체험을 했 이것을 구원 구원하고 갖고 연결을 시키는 거죠. So when people come to church and when they pray in name of Jesus and when they have some special experience, they want to connect that to the faith. 아는 아는 것이 믿는 거하고 다른 이야기예요. And the salvation, but we need to understand that knowing and believing is two different things. 또는요, 가끔씩 육신적인 목적을 위해서 교회로 오신 분들이 있습니다. And also sometimes there are some people who would come to church for the physical gains. 그래서 예수 이름으로 계속 기도한다든지 하나님을 부르는 행위를 계속 하는 겁니다. 이렇게. That's why they will continuously pray in name of Jesus or call on the name of God. 자기 육신적인 것을 해결하기 위해서 계속 하나님을 이렇게 부르는 거죠. To fulfill their physical needs, they would call on God. 그런 행위들이 행위들을 믿음이라고 생각하는 거예요. And they think that these kind of actions equals to faith. 그렇지 않습니다. But it's not true. 어, 또, 또 믿음의 정확한 의미를 모른 채 자기가 나름대로 이렇게 정리되고 이런 것들을 믿음이라고 착각해요. And some other people, without understanding the true meaning of faith, they would just organize certain um, knowledges in their head and they think that they believe. 많은 분들이 어, 자기 나름의 어떤 예수를 이렇게 생각하고 이렇게 믿는 거죠. Meaning that they would um, create their own version of Jesus in their head and they believe in him. 내가, 내가 믿는 내가 믿는 행위가 중요한 게 아니라 성경에서 말하는 믿, 믿, 성경에서 말하는 그대로를 믿는 게 중요한 거예요. Well, what I believe or my, what kind of actions I take, it's not important. What's more important or most important is what does the Bible says and we need to believe according to the Bible. 예, 요한복음을 보면 예수님을 믿고 따랐다는 본문들이 굉장히 많이 나옵니다. 
So if you look at the book of John, there are many expressions where people follow Jesus and believed in him. 성경에 분명하게 믿었다고 표현하고 있어요. And very clearly the Bible describes that they believed. 근데 예수님이 십자가 지실 때다 도망갔습니다. When Jesus was crucified, all of them they ran away. 그리고 예수님을 십자가 지실 때 실제 십자가 질수 지도로 만든 사람 중에서 그 믿었던 사람들이 꽤 있습니다. And also among these people who follow Jesus and believe in Jesus, they play the crucial role to crucify Jesus. 내 믿음이 지금 중요한 게 아니라니까요. So having my own faith, it's not important. 성경이 말하는 믿음과 내 믿음이 같아야 되는, 되는 게 중요한 거죠. What's more, it's what's important is that the faith that the Bible talks about should match with my faith. 분명히 제가 알기로 천주교도 예수를 믿습니다. As far as I understand, the Catholics they believe in Jesus. 그, 뭐 유대인 그, 많은 이슬람이나 많은 이단들도 예수를 믿어요. Muslims or many other heretic groups, they also believe in Jesus. 그럼 구원 받나요? Or can they receive salvation? 예수를 믿으면 구원 받냐고요? So can you receive salvation if you believe in Jesus? 분명히 믿음이 믿음인데 성경하고 다른 믿음들이 분명히 교회 안에 많이 존재합니다. So in the church, these are really faith. However, these faiths are different from the faith that the Bible talks about. 자 그러면 성경에서 말하는 진짜 믿음의 문제를 한번 살펴보겠습니다. And let's really look at what is the faith that the Bible tells us. 어, 간단하게 이야기하면 복음을 믿는 음, 복음을 믿는 믿음이 성경에서 말하는 믿음이에요. So simply speaking, um, believing in the gospel, faith in the gospel is the faith that the Bible talks about. 이게 에, 마지막 끝이 잘안 들리는데 잘, 잘 들리고 있나? 네. 네 말, 네 말이 영어로 잘 마지막에 잘 번역 통역되고 있나? 어, 한번더 말하겠습니다. So, <웃음> uh, can you can you hear me clearly? Or am I breaking? Is my sound breaking? Okay. Both are perfect. We can hear both of you clearly. Okay, thank you. Okay. 자, 복음은 예수가 그리스도라는 게 복음이죠. So what is the gospel? Is that Jesus is the Christ? 예수님이 십자가 부활로 사단과 죄와 하나님과 단절된 문제를 완전히 해결했다라는 거죠. That means Jesus, he through his cross and through his resurrection, he was able to truly accomplish or finish the problem of sin, Satan, and separation from God. Then the gospel infers that all the problems that has been consecrated from the essential problem of mankind, and they are all finished. And the very evidence of that is resurrection. 그 믿음이라는 게 무슨 말이 뭐냐면 Then what is the faith? 내 모든 문제가 단번에 영원히 해결되었다고 하는 끝났다고 하는 것을 믿는 거예요. It is to believe in the fact that in the truth that all my problems have been finished once and for all eternally. 예수를 그리스도로 믿는다고 하는 것은 하나님이 나와 함께 계신다고 한 사실을 믿는 거죠. So to believe Jesus as the Christ, that means we truly believe that God is with us. It is to believe that Jesus Christ, he is our Lord. And the faith in the gospel that Jesus is the Christ, this gives us life. 성경이, 성경이 말하는 그 믿음을, 믿음을 가졌을 때만 세상을 이기게 돼요. And only when we have the faith of the Bible, then we'll be able to overcome the world. And if you look at 1 John chapter 5, 4 and 5, um, it says that um, the faith will overcome the world. So when Peter confessed that Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of Living God, and Jesus blessed him, and he said, "The gates of Hades will not overcome you." 예, 정말로 성경 성경이 말하는 믿음을 가지고 있으면 음부의 근세가 이기지 못하고요. If we truly have the faith that the Bible tells us to have, then the gates of Hades cannot overcome us. 세상을 이기게 되는 거예요. 
And we'll be able to overcome the world. 그 증거가 초대 교회입니다. And the very evidence of that is the early church. 그들은 가난했고 그들은 한, 많이 어려웠습니다. They were poor and they were facing so many difficulties in their life. 근데 상관이 없었어요. But it did not bother them. 예수를 그리스도를 믿었기 때문에. Because they truly believe that Jesus is the Christ. 그가 모든 걸 끝내셨다고 믿었고. They truly believe that Jesus, he finished everything. 그래서 나와 함께 하심을 믿었고. And they truly believe that he was with them always. 내 인생의 주인 되심을 믿었어요. They truly believe that Jesus, he is their Lord of their life. 가난이 문제가 되지 않았습니다. So poverty was not a problem. 죽음이 문제가 되지 않았습니다. And even death was not a problem. 질병이 문제가 되지 않았어요. And diseases, they were not a problem. 근데 지금 시대의 교회는 믿음을 봐보세요. Well, how about the faith that we have in today's churches? 예수 이름으로 질병 나으려고만 합니다. Many people want to receive healings with the name of Jesus. 예수 이름으로 병 나으려고 한다니까요. They want to get better with the name of Jesus. 예수 이름으로 축복받으려고 하는 거예요. They want to receive physical blessings in the name of Jesus. 분명히 초대교회와 다르다니까요. Then this kind of faith is different from the faith that early church members had. 초대교회 대부분의 사도들은 순교했습니다. And most of apostles of the early church members, most of them were martyred. 죽음이 상관이 없다는 거예요. Meaning that they didn't even care about death. 근데 이 시대의 믿음은 분명히 달라요. Well, how about the faith we see today? It's very different. 복 받으려고 하고 성공하려고 합니다. We want to be successful. We want to be blessed. 목사들도 이게 큰 교회 하려고 성공하려고 하는 거예요. And even pastors, they want to build big churches and they want to be successful. 사도들의 믿음과 지금 전 세계 성도들의 믿음이 분명히 달라요. The faith of apostles and the faith of many Christians today, they're very different. 내가 믿고 싶은 대로 믿으면 구원받지 못합니다. If we believe according to what we want to believe, then we cannot receive salvation. 성경이 말한 대로 믿어야 구원받습니다. We need to believe according to what the Bible says. 성경대로 믿어야 세상을 이깁니다. We need to believe in the way the Bible tells us. Only then we'll be able to overcome the world. 성경대로 믿어야만 음부의 권세가 이기지 못하는 거예요. Only when we believe according to the Bible, then gates of Hades cannot overcome us. 여러분들 주위의 교회를 잘 한번 봐보세요. Please look at look around yourself and look at the churches around you. 저희들이 있는 우리 대한민국에도 제가 교회를 많이 보고 있습니다. So I'm looking at many churches in Korea as well. 분명히 성경하고 다른 믿음을 가지고 있고요. And many of them have, possess the faith, but they are different from the faith of the Bible. 예수 믿는 게 너무 너무 힘든 사람들이 많습니다. There are so many people who say, "Oh, believing in Jesus is so difficult." 분명히 믿음이 달라 이게. Meaning that their faith is very different from the faith of the Bible. 초대 교회와 지금의 성도들의 믿음이 다르다는 거예요 이게. The faith of early church members and the faith of today's Christians are different. 예수가 그리스도라는 게 복음입니다. Jesus is the Christ. This is the gospel. 예수님이 십자가 부활로 모든 문제를 끝내셨다. 끝내신 그리스도다라고 하는 게 복음이라는 거죠. Jesus, he, he has finished everything through cross and resurrection, and he is the Christ. This is the gospel. And we need to believe it as it is, and that's the faith. And when we truly come to believe Jesus as the Christ, then we'll be able to live as early church members. 고린도 후수 5장 15절에 보니까 다시는 내 자신을 위해 살지 않는다고 이야기합니다. And if you look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 15, it says I no longer live for myself. 모든 문제를 십자가 벌로 끝내셨기 때문에 내 문제가 사실은 이제 없는 거예요. Because Jesus he has finished all my problems on the cross and through resurrection, therefore I have nothing to do with my problems anymore. 그래서 남은 인생을 주와 복음을 위해 살수 있는 거예요. So for the rest of my life, now I can live for the Lord and for the gospel. 근데 아직도 부족하다고, 아직도 더 필요하다고 믿는 사람들은 But for those who still think that this gospel is not enough or I lack something, 주와 복음을 위해서 살 수가 없어요. They never will be able to live for the Lord and the gospel. 
하나님의 이름 그리스를 또 그리스 그리스 이름을 이용해서 자기 육신적인 것을 채우려고 할 수밖에 없는 거죠. They end up manipulating the name of Jesus and name of God to fulfill their physical need. 로마서 14장 7절에 8절에 보면 주를 우리 중에서 주 우리는 주를 위해 살고 주를 위해 죽는다고 표현돼 있어요. Romans chapter 14 verse 7 that we we live for the Lord and we we'll die for the Lord. 네, 초대 교회는 주를 위해서 살고 주를 위해서 죽어요. The early church members they live for the Lord and they die for the Lord. 정말로 예수 그리스도를 어, 정말로 믿는 자는 이렇게 사는 거예요. For those who truly believe Jesus as a Christ, they live like this. 고린도전서 10장 31절에 보니까 먹든지 마시든지 무엇을 하든지 다 하나님의 영광을 위하여 한다라고 표현됐어요. 어, 고린도전서요? 어, 전서 10장 31절. 1 um, Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31 it says so whether we eat or drink or whatever you do do it for the glory of God. 주님이 내 모든 문제를 끝내셨어요. Our Lord he finished all my problems. 그러니까 먹든지 마시든지 무엇을 하든지 다 주의 영광을 위해서 할 수밖에 없는 거죠. Therefore now all we need to do is whether we eat or drink whatever we do we do it for the glory of God. 갈라디아서 2장 20절에도 그리스도 함께 살고 그리스도 함께 죽는다라고 표현되어 있습니다. In Galatians chapter 2:20 it's also described that we have we are crucified with Jesus and now we're going to live with the Christ. 베드로가 주는 그리스도시요 살아계신 하나님의 아들이십니다라고 고백을 합니다. Peter made this confession that Lord you are the Christ son of living God. 그렇게 고백을 하니까 예수님이 하신 말씀이 있어요. When he made the confession this is what Jesus said. 정말로 그렇게 믿어? 그러면 자기를 부인하고 자기 십자가를 지고 따르라 라고 표현해요. He said, if do you truly believe that way, then you need to deny yourself and take up your cross and follow me. 정말로 예수를 그리스도라고 발견되고 믿어진다면 If you truly come to realize and believe that Jesus is the Christ, 자기를 부인하고 자기 십자가를 지고 따를 수밖에 없는 거죠. And you have no choice but to deny yourself, carry, um, take up your cross and follow Jesus. 정말로 믿는다. If you truly believe, 주를 위해 살 수밖에 없어요. Then you will naturally live for the Lord. 정말로 믿는다. If you truly believe, 내 네, 부족하지만 은혜하게 순종하며 살아가는 살아가는 삶을 살 수밖에 없는 거예요. 부족하지만. Then although um, we are lacking forever, but we will, we will naturally want to obey the covenant. We naturally want to follow Jesus. 어떻게 초대교회는 다 순교할 수 있었냐? The early church members, how was it so possible for them to be martyred? 믿었기 때문인 거예요. Because they believed. 그러면 왜 초대 초대교 삶과 지금 이 시대의 삶이 다를까? And how come the life of early church members and life of today's Christians they are so different? 많은 사람들이 환경이라고 생각하는 거예요. Many people say, oh, it's a difference in environment. 우리나라는 환경이 너무 안 좋아. Oh, my country is so difficult in um, environment. 우리나라, 우리나라는 많이 가난해. My country is so poor. 과연 그럴까요? But is that really like that? 환경의 문제가 아니라 믿음의 차이가 나는 거예요. It is not the problem of the environment. It is a that comes the difference comes from the difference of their faith. 이 초대 교회 믿음과 이 시대 성도들의 믿음이 달라요. The faith of early church members and the faith of today's Christians are different. 그러니까 초대 교회 삶이 삶과 지금 이 시대 성도들의 삶이 다를 수밖에 없는 거예요. And as a result of that, the life of early church members and the life of today's Christians will be different. 삶이라고 하는 것은 믿음의 결과인 거죠. Because the life, the Christian life is a very result of the faith that they have. 주를 위해 삽니다. So I live for the Lord. 그럼 그런 믿음을 가졌다는 거예요. That means I possess the faith that would motivate me to live that kind of life. 주를 위해 살지 못해요. Oh, I cannot live for the Lord. 그럼 그런 믿음을 가졌기 때문인 거예요. That means you have that kind of faith. 행위의 문제가 아니에요. So it's not about your deed or actions. 환경의 문제가 아닌 거예요. It's not the issue. It's not the environment you are living in. 가장 근본적으로 믿음의 차이가 나는 거예요. Fundamentally speaking, there is a difference in the faith that you have. 초대 교회 같은 믿음을 가졌다면 초대 교회 같은 삶을 
살 수밖에 없는 거죠. 부족하지만. If you possess the faith and that is same as the faith of early church members then you have you will naturally live the life that the early church members lived although you're lacking in many other aspects. 초대교회 사도들은 예수님께서 십자가 부활로 내 모든 문제를 끝내신 그리스도시다라고 그들은 믿었어요. Apostles of early church members they believed that Jesus is the Christ and he truly finished everything on the cross and through his resurrection. 그래서 자기를 부인하고 자기 십자가를 지고 따라갈 수 있었던 거예요. That's why they were able to deny themselves and they were able to carry their own cross and follow Jesus. 주를 섬기며 살아가는데 가난이 있을 수 있고 질병이 있을 수 있고 죽음 죽음 같은 어려움이 있을 수 있습니다. So as we serve the Lord, it's very possible that we encounter poverty, we encounter diseases, or we encounter any other types of difficulties. 그러나 믿으니까 상관이 없는 거예요. But if we truly believe, these will not bother us. 구약의 다윗도 마찬가지입니다. And same for David in Old Testament. 다윗이 가장 어려움 당할 때쓴 시편이 시편 23편이에요. So when David he was in a worse situation of his life, he wrote Psalm chapter 23. 사울 왕 때문에 죽음의 위기를 계속 이게 넘기면서 살고 있는 사람이 다윗입니다. So David at the time, because of King Saul's, he was chasing David. That's why David, every moment, he was feeling threatened and he was living at the edge of death. 뭐라고 고백하냐면, what did he confess? 여호와는 나의 목자시 내가 부족함이 없다라고 고백하고 있어요. He confessed that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. 다윗은 조금만 잘못 행동하면 지금 죽을 수 있는 위기가 계속 찾아오고 있어요. Well, if he make a little bit of mistake, then the death can come to his life. That was the very situation that David was living in. But David said, "Oh, nothing is a problem." That's faith. But David said, "Oh, nothing is a problem." That is the faith. 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 So to truly believe Jesus as the Christ, that means to truly believe that all my problems are dealt with, and He is with me. 정말로 믿는 자는 주의 언약을 위해서 뭐 잘하든 못하든 살 수밖에 없어요. So for those who truly believe, whether they're good at it or bad at it, it doesn't really matter. But they will live for the Lord very naturally. 그러면서 야고보서 우리 2장 어 2장 21절 한번 보겠습니다. Let's look at James chapter 2:21. 이제 야고보가 믿음과 행함, 행함에 대한 설명을 하면서 아브라함 이야기를 했어요. So here James is trying to explain about the faith and the deeds and now he's taking up the story of Abraham. 그 21절 후반부에 보면 행함으로 어렵 아브라함이 행함으로 어렵다 하심을 받았다라고 설명을 합니다. And if you look at, um, at verse 21 he says was not our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did? 이거 좀 이상하잖아요. It sounds a bit strange. 아브라함이 행함으로 어렵게 되었습니까? Was Abraham considered righteous for what he did? 믿음으로 구원받는 겁니까? 행함으로 구원받는 겁니까? So do you receive salvation by your action or by your faith? 우리가 믿음으로 구원받는 거잖아요. We know very clearly that we receive salvation by our faith. 근데 21절에 행함으로 어렵다 하심을 받았다고 지금 이렇게 설명을 하고 있어요. But in verse 21, it explains that our father Abraham, he was considered righteous for what he did. 창세기 15장 6절에 보면 어렵다 하시면 믿음으로 말미암았다라고 분명히 창세기 15장에도 이야기를 하고 있어요. If you look at Genesis chapter 15, 6, it's very clearly it says Abraham believed the Lord and he credited it to him as righteousness. 이 말은 행함으로 어렵게 된다 말이 아닙니다. 아브라함의 믿음이 행함이라고 하는 현상으로 나타났다는 거예요. So this verse does not mean that Abraham was considered righteous because of his actions. No, he took that action because he truly believed. 그러면서 22절을 보면 네가 보거니와 믿음이 그와 그의 행함과 함께 일하고 행함으로 믿음이 온전하게 되었다라고 표현합니다. In verse 22 it says you see that his faith and his actions were working together and his faith was made complete by what he did. 그러니까 믿음과 행함은 함께 가는 거라는 거예요. So the faith and the actions will go together. It will work together. 
그 행함으로 믿음이 온전하게 되었다라고 22절에 마지막에 설명하잖아요. And it says the faith was made complete by what he did. 이 말은 행했기 때문에 믿음이 온전해졌다는 것이 아니라 온전한 믿음은 행함을 동반한다라는 뜻이에요. So that does not mean that he was able to complete his faith by his actions. No, it means that complete faith will be accompanied by the action. 이게 지금 야고보가 왜 이런 말을 할까요? So why does James talk about um, this type of topic? 입으로 막 믿는다고 하면서요. 믿는 자의 삶을 살아내지 않은 사람이 유혹하는 거예요. Because there are so many people who say, oh, I believe, but they do not take any actions and they're not living as a believer. 어, 나 예수 믿는데 교회 안 와. I believe in Jesus, but they don't come to church. 나 예수 믿는다고 하는데 믿는 자의 삶은 안 나와. Oh, I believe in Jesus, but when we look at their life, we can't see anything like a believer. 세계교회 많은 목사님들의 고민이 뭔지 아십니까? Do you know what is the worries of many pastors around the world? 믿는다는데 왜, 왜 저럴까? 하는 거예요. This is the question that they have. Oh, these church members, they say they believe, but how come they continue to live like that? 저렇게 많이 훈련받았는데 왜 변하지 않을까? How come they are not changed even after receiving so many trainings? 아, 우리 장로님이 안 변해. Oh, my, the, my elder, he doesn't change. 왜 그럴까요? Why is it? 성경의 믿음과 자기가 믿는 믿음이 정말로 같은 것인지를 살펴봐야 돼요. Then we need to first examine whether our faith is equal to the faith of the Bible. 내가 어떻게 믿느냐가 중요하지 않습니다. It's not important. Um, it's not about how I believe. 성경이 믿 성경이 믿음대로 내가 믿어야 되는 거예요. What's important is we need to believe according to the faith of the Bible. 23절에 그래서 뭐라고 이야기하냐면 어, 이에 성경에 성경에 이르되 아브라함이 하나님을 믿으니 이것을 어로 여기셨다는 어, 말씀이 이루어졌고 그는 하나님의 보시라 칭함을 받았다라고 표현합니다. Verse 23 it says and the scripture was fulfilled that says Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness and he was called God's friend. 믿음과 행함은 같이 가는 거예요. The faith and the action they go together. 행함으로 구원받는 게 아닙니다. It's not that you can receive salvation by your action. 분명히 믿음으로 구원받아요. You receive salvation through the faith. 그러니까 참 믿는 자는 행함이 동반될 수밖에 없다는 거예요. For those who truly believe, um, the actions will follow. It's it will naturally happen. 그래서 믿음이 어, 믿 어, 그, 믿음이 그의 행함과 함께 일한다라고 22절에 말하는 거죠. That's why verse 22 he clearly tells us that the actions his faith and actions were working together. 그 아브라함이 아브라함이 믿는데 그 믿음은 행함으로 나타났다는 거죠. So Abraham he believed and um, his faith was revealed through his actions. 그래서 그걸 뭐라고 표현했냐면 하나님의 보시라고 표현을 했어요. And later on, he was even called God's friend. And this actually shows how much Abraham believed in God, how much he was close to God, how much he obeyed God. So we cannot explain the faith and the action in a separate way. I truly want to live a life of, of the just as the early church members lived. 뭘 고민해야 되냐면 초대 교회 초기 초대 교회가 믿었던 믿음을 가지면 그 행, 그런 삶은 따라오게 되는 거예요. The one we need to examine is do I really have the faith of the faith of early church members? Because if we possess the faith of early church members, then that kind of lifestyle will just follow. 저는 어릴 때부터 교회를 다녔습니다. So I've attended the church ever since I was young. 청년 때 제가 신앙이 확 무너져 버렸어요. But when I was a young man, my faith was um very my faith was destroyed. 하나님이 분명히 살아계신다고 확실하게 믿었는데 제 신앙이 무너져 버리더라고요. Although I was so sure that God was alive and living, but I lost my faith. 아무도 저도 안 돼요. I struggled so much, I worked so much, but it didn't work out. 제가 뭘 고민했냐면 and this was my question. 내 인생은 왜 초대교회 성경하고 다를까라는 거예요. 
So this was my question. How come my life is different from the life of early church members? 어떻게 하면 성경에 나오는 그런 사람처럼 살수 있을까가 계속 고민인데 그렇게 안 돼요. How come? How can I live um, like the like these characters in the Bible? That was my question, and I struggled so much, but I couldn't do it. 그래서 뭐 기도를 좀더 많이 해보기도 하고. So I tried to pray more. 성경을 많이 좀 읽어보기도 하고. And I tried to read the Bible more. 잘하지 못하지만 이렇게 막 전도 현장에 막 따라 나가면서 열심을 해보기도 하고 그렇게 했던 거예요. Although I was not really good at it, but I would join the evangelism team and I tried to put my effort to evangelize. 그런데 안 되는 거예요. But it was not really working out for me. 하면 할수록 갈등이 더 심해져요. The more I try these actions, the more conflicted my heart was. 왜내 인생은 초대 교회와 다를까? How come my life is so different from the that of other church members? 조금 시간이 흐른 뒤에 하나님께서 제게 은혜를 주셨어요. And then um, certain uh, period of time has passed and God really blessed me. 저는 삶이 문제라고 생각했었어요. Because when I was younger, I thought my life was the problem. 아니요, 믿음이 문제였어요. No, actually, my faith was the problem. 내가 초대 성경 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 그대로 믿고 있지 않다는 걸 알고 알게 된 거예요. I came to realize that I was not really believing in the way the Bible tells us, in the way the early church members believed. 성경 그대로 믿을 때 성경의 인물들 같은 인생을 살아낼 수 있는 겁니다. When we believe according to the Bible, then we'll be able to live as all these characters of the Bible lived. 올바른 믿음은 하나님이 원하시는 은약에 순종하며 사는 행함이 동반하게 되어 있습니다. And the correct faith, the right faith, will be always accompanied by the actions um, um, through the obedience to God. 그래서 오늘 17절, 20절, 26절에 보면 행함이 없는 믿음은 죽은 믿음이고 그때 믿음이라고 야고보가 이야기를 합니다. So today we look at the James chapter 2 verse 17, 20 and 26 and he says the faith without deeds is like that it's useless. 시간이 좀 많이 흘렀습니다. So time has passed. 우리... 에베소서 2장 10절을 한번 보겠습니다. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. 에베소서 2장 10절. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. 그게 보면 우리는 그가 만드신 바라 그리스도 예수 안에서 선한 일을 위하여 지으심을 받은 자니라고 표현됐습니다. He says, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works. 우리는 행위로 구원받지 않지만 선한 행위를 위해서 하나님 우리를 부르셨다라는 의미인 거죠. So although we don't receive salvation by our actions, no, we receive salvation by our faith, but God created us in Christ Jesus to do good works. 우리는 정확한 성경에서 말하는 믿음이 뭔지를 이해해야 되고 We clearly need to understand what is the faith that the Bible talks about. 하나님의 은혜로 그 믿음을 우리는 소유해야 합니다. And only by grace we'll be able to possess the faith. 그럴 때 하나님이 원하시는 세계복음화를 감당해낼 수 있는 그런 인생으로 갈 수밖에 없는 거죠. When we have that kind of faith, we'll be able to carry out the will of the Father and we, we'll be able to truly carry out the world evangelization. 여러분들 때문에 여러분들 교회와 나라가 분명히 살게 되는 은혜가 있기를 바랍니다. And I truly pray that God will bless all of you so that um, God is going to save your country through your life. 자주 만나지 못하지만 계속 여러분들 위해서 기도하겠습니다. Although I cannot get to see you often, but I'm going to pray for you continually. 짧은 시간이지만 함께 말씀을 나눌 수 있어서 감사합니다. I'm very thankful because I was able to share the word of God, although it was a short period of time. Thank you. 감사합니다. Thank you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's so deep. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor uh, Park. We thank God for your life. Thank you so much for even creating the time. And every time I uh, listen to you, you're so much graceful. You're so much graceful. So I believe that it's time for us to deepen ourselves in intercession prayer. So that God can really help us to truly believe, not according to the way we want to believe. So that my life must not be opposite of my faith. My faith, my life needs to manifest my faith in Christ. Amen. So let's quickly go to 
Philippines. We want to ask our own pastor, Pastor Joanna Batalons, to lead us in intercession time. Please, sir, you can unmute your microphone, Pastor Joanna's. Uh, Pastor Joanna's. Please unmute your microphone. Thank you. Okay. Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. So let us come to our intercession. So let us join together for intercession time. Okay, and believe that there is something going to happen in our world evangelization in our days. Amen. Okay. So let us pray together. Open our hearts to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Pastor Titus from Nigeria to round up this prayer for us. Pastor Titus from Nigeria. Pastor Titus, uh, Titus uh, Obuna. Please, uh, can you unmute your microphone? Pastor Titus Obuna from Nigeria. 
Hello, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Pastor Mark. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, the Korean church. It is a wonderful moment in his presence. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, O oh God. We give you all the praise. We pray that, O oh God, all the participants around the world, by the reason of the anointing, that they will encounter Christ in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ. We glorify you for all the wonderful work you are doing. We want to thank you for all the participants all over the world and what you are using them to do. Despite all the problems around the world, you have been, oh God, revealing Jesus who is a Christ, and you cause us, oh God, to witness him. Lord, we thank you for the gospel we have received. Give us the power, oh God, and open our eyes, oh God, through the Holy Spirit, that, oh God, we shall be able to know him more and know the gospel of Jesus who is a Christ. We pray, oh God, that all the participants around the world will encounter Christ. In the name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, and thank you because we know that the manifestation of your power have seen, oh God, in this in this meeting and in our presence all over the world in our meetings. Let there be, oh God, the great manifestation of every, oh God, person seeing Jesus as the Christ and revealing Jesus and him crucified in the name of Jesus who is the Christ. Father, by the reason of the anointing, we also pray that you may allow the revelation of the gospel of Jesus, the Christ, to be upon each and every one of us, that every participant all over the world will begin to, oh God, witness this with power and great glory, while we wait, oh God, for your return. In the name of Jesus, we also pray, oh God, that, oh God, the Holy Spirit, will open our eyes. Let, oh God, this be revealed to us, oh God, in another dimension, to the glory of your name, that we together, oh God, will carry forth this gospel all over the world, witnessing, oh God, until your return. In the name of Jesus, let, oh God, your power manifest. In the name of Jesus, we pray, King of glory, that, oh God, our various meeting will begin, oh God, to impart life, will begin to be life, to everyone in the name of Jesus that will match with our faith. Lord, oh God, will match our faith with action as we go ahead proclaiming Jesus who is the Christ all over the world. Let our faith match with our action. As we have listened to this wonderful message today, Lord, I pray that as we go, we are going, oh God, with greater dimension of anointing. We are going with another revelation of Jesus the Christ in another dimension to the part, oh God, that every one of us will see the cause to glorify you to your return and prepare ourselves in the name of Jesus, who is a Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's give it to God. Let's give it to the Lord. Let's give it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you so much, Pastor Titus, Pastor Joanna, who participate today from Africa. We really appreciate your life. Thank you so much. And then from Asia, thank you. We appreciate you. From Europe, thank you. From North America, we know it's very early in both North and South America. It's early, like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. at their side to be able to participate. We truly appreciate your sacrifice, your devotion to this gospel. Amen. And also to people also from uh, on Facebook who have been able to I mean, witness and join us today. We thank God for your life. And especially we want to thank God for our own pastor, Alex Katogo, who was able to lead us through the intercession towards the meeting. We appreciate our own uh, Vandana Anagura from India. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. And also our own pastor, Dr. Vavila from Mexico. We appreciate you. Thank you, you and all the Mexican team. We thank God for your life. And not only that, we also thank God for Pastor Joanna uh, Batalon from Philippines. Thank you for being able to take us through the deeper time of intercession. We really appreciate you. And also our own Pastor Titus Obuna. 
Yeah, Titus Obuna from Nigeria. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. And uh, Evangelist Samantha from Malaysia is unable to participate for one or two things uh, today. I mean, we really appreciate God also for our life and all the Malaysian team. And uh, we want to, to want you to know that next week we shall continue to deepen ourselves in this gospel through the 27 lectures. We'll be looking at 27 lectures, but God has been so taken off from one level to another. I mean, that's a deeper glory in Christ. Amen. And uh, also, I really want to encourage us that all through Monday, all through to Sunday, we do have uh, seminars in all other countries. Please, uh, if you have chances, just try to participate also. Also, you can also be an instrument to share this gospel with any of the, the, the meetings we have. Please, you can speak to or contact the missionary Nina, right? If you, are, you want to volunteer and the Lord lay on your heart also to share some lectures with other countries so that we can help each other to truly go deeper and also to evangelize our communities, our countries from different places. Like today now, today we have a Arabic a seminar and after Arabic seminar, we have a French speaking uh, country uh, seminars before this uh, English one. See? So please, if you're not laid on your heart, also you want to reach out to your own community from different places and you need uh, support from ours, please just let us know. You can contact me or you can contact me, Nina so that we can support you to do that. So today we want to thank God for those who are worshiping with us or fellowshipping with us today for the first time, like Laurentia Shuku, Pastor Shuku, thank you so much. We appreciate you for joining us today. And also my own friend, uh, Ofram, Ofram, uh, Ofram Jerry from Ghana, thank you so much for being part of our meeting today. And all the Pakistan's uh, uh, disciples, so I'm able to join us for the first time. We really appreciate you. And on this note, we want to say from South Korea, that we want to say good night from here. And to you in Africa, I want to say have a wonderful day in Asia. I want to say have a wonderful sleep also. And also from Europe, North America, and uh, South America. I want to say please enjoy the rest <laughs> of your day. So, and we can unmute our microphone. So let's unmute our microphone to exchange greetings with one another. Pastor Samuel, Pastor Dante, Pastor Boya, thank you so much. Bye bye. Pastor Thomas, Pastor Gladys, my dear. Bye bye. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. 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 Bye b